If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, we're actually on the RTG account right now because... For the evolutions today, there's already one player that I gotta put this evolution up for, and it's going to be... Uh, a specific player that people know of it's a, it's nice because i have his first owner and everything right but yeah so the evolutions today guys is gonna be called let's take a look and see budding starlet no it's not this one midfield keeping balance that's the one there it is so you can buy two different keeping balance cards you can buy one you could buy two which can be very helpful, especially if you're getting into the game for certain cards that you may be improving because obviously there's going to be a couple of meta options to work with that are definitely going to be very nice. For this evolution, the upgrades are going to be in... Oh, a plus three for reactions is actually really nice. That's actually a W there. Uh, level two rewards... A massive balance boost, which is another big W. And then a massive agility boost as well. And you get Quick Step Plus, which is very, very nice. Now, the main card that people are going to be taking a look at when it comes down to these evolutions is going to be Kyle Walker. Now, by default, for the RTG account, I'm going to go ahead and buy this evolution, which I think is just him. I don't think there's going to be anything else, just the rare goal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, always got to make sure because uh, sometimes... You make the wrong decision there, my friend. But uh, yeah, nice little cheeky first owner Kyle Walker transformed into an evolution. So we'll definitely take that. Very, very good stuff. And uh, at some point, you will be um, evolving that. That's going to be two squad battles or rivals or champs. Assist three with him as well. Uh, play two rivals or champs with two. Assist four. Uh, but I can do that in squad battles as well, and then win two. Okay, so yeah, we have to level up this card at some point uh, to try him out. But let's take a look at the popular options that people are going to be going with for the most part for this specific evolutions. Now, we always have to take into consideration people who are just getting into the game as well, right? Uh, obviously, this is the Christmas time period. So for people that are buying the game at this time period, uh, it's very important to mention that, right? So... From all the popular choices, as of right now, the beginning ones especially, right? It's mainly going to be in players like Walker, Doom Freeze, Chua, many. But there's also going to be physical guys in other areas of the pitch that could be really nice to go with. So, for Kyle Walker to start off, okay? This is a really, really big improvement, okay? The reason why it's a big improvement for Kyle Walker is because this card is a lengthy player right so if i take a look at this one because i have to go to the page that's a little bit more consistent with the uh accelerates right so we go to the evolutions and we go to keeping balance right which is uh the one that he gets the upgrade and take a look at this right so you could either go in the direction of keeping him on a lengthy right with the anchor chemistry style or you give him a shadow depending on how your tactics are set up right because you do give him a pretty significant boost in interceptions physicality all that kind of stuff right but it's it it's the massive agility and balance boost that's a really key thing here right because from the rare gold it's at a 66 69 and i'll tell you guys this right now building up with this card was mad annoying with the rare gold and i use it a lot because i still have it on my accounts right i never wanted to trade him away because obviously if you ever got an evolutions like he did today then it might be worth getting him because listen Anchor chemistry style on this card is going to do this to him, right? So he's going to be a lengthy player still. He's a mostly lengthy, not like a controlled lengthy, nothing like that. He's a mostly lengthy player with 92 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. But you have to take into consideration that now to work with the lengthy part of the card, he has quick step plus. So the quick step plus for that initial acceleration and then the lengthy part to push the pace out of the card with a rapid is a massive W to work with, right? So that's why people are looking into this card the most from the selections that you have because he's looking pretty good, to be fair, right? So with Kyle Walker, 
set up the way that he, he is you know high high work rates anchor chemistry style making his defensive stats very very solid to work with for a card who is six foot tall unique body type you know he's a type of player that really bullies people for the most part it definitely looks like a very very good option to go with in a general sense right uh we also have another option that's actually very nice which is the doom freeze card right so if you did the triple threat to wing back in this card and then you got the keeping balance afterwards you have yet again another player who's going to be pretty decent in the meta of the gameplay when it comes to the lengthy now i will say that this meta was way more prevalent in last year's game for these specific cards but it's still very very nice to work with in this year's game because this year's game is so side play oriented it's disgusting right so it's nice to have fullbacks that can dribble and to overlap because that's like pretty much the the main play style of moving across the pitch right but if you did the triple threat wing back again it is going to be a card that is going to be a lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style so take a look at this right so it actually tells you the chemistry styles here so shadow keeps them at mostly lengthy you give them a massive acceleration sprint speed boost the card itself is really really increase in the agility and balance departments right which doesn't show on this card wait so if it doesn't show on that card because this is 80 70. oh this is this is a little bit different because this is a massive improvement on the card that's the 87 this one over here is the 85 so you would have to go what no evolutions available okay what was walker's thing here let me see just to make sure because it was just the one card so it's a little bit different with him yeah evolutions and then to keeping balance oh, okay so just making sure you know just making sure but yeah doom freeze does receive a really big um dribbling boost obviously on the card oh i see this is the regular winter wild card oh so i was so confused for like two seconds i'm like what is going on right now <laughs> this is the card yeah so triple uh, triple three uh, uh, triple threat to wing back into keeping balance gets the dribbling boost 80 agility 70 for balance but it's a lengthy player right so defensive presence on a stay back while attacking would be kind of crazy for this card because look at those physical stats while being able to provide him with a shadow chemistry style so that's really really crazy really really crazy especially if you did go uh if you did end up going in that route right i can't speak english today because too many videos uh, true of many gonna be an option again for a lot of people um so this one is a paid one i think the radioactive was not a paid one and the radioactive also provides you like the good links to work with too uh true of many is not a bad option to go with either again very key thing to mention here is the quick step plus working with the lengthy right so because his pace is on the lower side regardless if you give him a shadow chemistry style it's also a lengthy player but the initial acceleration being increased on this card while working with a lengthy to push the pace out of it is incredibly helpful to work with for a card that by default already has all of the very very good play styles right there were some evils that he had like uh an intercept plus and to be honest because of how tall he is and because of his lengthy already being good intercept plus was actually a really really nice variable to work with right but obviously for uh the new card the quick step plus equally as good if not could be better because having the quick step plus to initially accelerate into positions is a really really big deal because with him it's uh, a card that again has different play styles to work with it's you have to understand that it's a combination of everything because if he has quick step plus that means your jockey system was going to be better that means that your uh lengthy will be pushed out of the card more your bruiser will be better because you'll be able to accelerate initially and then use the bruiser afterwards to tackle people so this one looks very nice as well definitely a very very solid option for the most part um now with some of the other options here you're going to start looking at players that are going to be receiving improvements based off of mainly sentimental value and then sometimes they get something crazy in the future right the popular options here you have a few cards uh like this card for instance right in zola who is uh by the looks of it a physical type attacker right but take a look at the sentimental value on this one right if you are uh a person from angola right founders evolution fc founders part two fc founders upgrade into keeping balance part two you have 
an Angolan striker who obviously is physical oriented, but has a five star weak foot to work with the fact that he already has perfect pace. So a card like this, you could technically, you know, really improve him in certain areas because let's take a look at this cards. So it's in Zola, right? Okay, so in Zola, or it's just Zola. I don't know how to say his name, honestly. Um, okay, so this card right here, we go to evolutions and we go to this one right here, right? So here's the key thing with this card, mostly lengthy accelerates. Okay, we give him an engine chemistry style. He's still a mostly lengthy player, which is a huge W because you give him that dribbling boost in the agility department. But his strength, because it's so high up base card stats wise, it's not something that you have to concern yourself too much with. He's got 99 jumping play styles in game. He has quick step, finesse shots, rapid and power shots, right? So again, if you went in the sentimental value route, Fiorentina, Angolan, you have a pretty decent physical type striker up top. These guys are usually not my go-tos. I like players that feel a little bit more responsive personally, but obviously to each their own with these types of uh, these types of players, right? Uh, what else we got here? So we have the uh, Hoyan card, uh, who obviously had a version before, which is this version right here. This is mainly for like the Man United fans, but again, he does uh, get the improvements on the card to put him in a pretty decent area for someone that you would be able to provide I would say like either a finisher or a hawk too, depending on your direction. Again, if I were to use him specifically, it would be with a finisher because he's a four star, four star player, left footed, right? A couple of interesting variables to work with with him. Um, obviously, with the power shoot increasing weak foot, that's definitely a W in comparison to this card right here. This is the main difference that you'd be working with, right? So for the evolutions, it would be the keeping balance right here from all the upgrades. Uh, and then compared to this version over here, this would be the main differences, right? So the green one for that finisher chemistry style is looking pretty solid because he also has a better pace boost, right? So again, if you went in this direction with the welcome to evolutions, the power shooter, and then you kept improving him from all of these, you can now have a pretty decent Hoyan card, right? So not too bad there. Um, not too bad there. Uh, keeping balance part two, popular options. Rabio is going to be another option. Uh, uh, Rabio wouldn't be bad. The only thing with him is that he's a medium medium. So I would kind of like skip out on that. If it was like changed to like a medium high, which it did with some of the evolutions, then that could definitely be really nice. Beto, this is mainly for like the Portuguese guys. Um, obviously, he has an FC Founder Part 2 into an FC Founders upgrade, keeping balance Part 2. So obviously, if you're building some sort of like Portuguese team, he does get some pretty significant improvements for a physical type dude up top, right? So not too bad there in regards to how Beto could perform in game. Uh, we have a Barcelona player here who you can upgrade from the foundations. Um, she's a medium high shadow chemistry style. She's going to be a more agile type player in the CDM position. And then play styles in game. She has quick step and intercept. So she doesn't have too many crazy stuff, but it is a Barcelona player. So you can't really go wrong with that. Declan Rice did receive a card before. If you guys didn't get your hands on that, this is your opportunity to get another Declan Rice card that could potentially improve in the future as well. This card as an SBC was at like 150K when it first initially released. So for this card being 75K, it's a, it's a downgraded version that you could potentially improve in the future for a card that gets Quick Step Plus. But it would be nice if he had more play styles. I even mentioned that during the Trailblazers review, but it was still a pretty decent SBC to get for... A longer period of time right uh, McTominay does also get a nice improvement for the Manchester United fans for somebody who is uh, a player that you get initially as an inform into a radioactive maestro and then into a keeping balance part two I will say this is very important to mention because I don't think key words I don't think that the chemistry part of radioactive maestro stays with the evolutions afterwards right I don't think it works that way with these types of cards so be very very mindful of that when it comes to improving some of these players. But again, with a card like this, he is a medium high work rate player. I'm pretty sure that's what the radioactive maestro did to the card, because I think initially he's not a medium high. He is a medium high, really? McTominay is a medium high. I mean, usability wise, that does add to the card. Play styles, quick step, long ball. Well, he doesn't have any defensive stuff, but I thought he would be like a high high or something. That's interesting, though. I mean, hey, for the Manchester United fans, can't go wrong with that either. Definitely needs some more play styles defensively wise, but he's probably really solid in game. 
um, with the animations and whatnot. So can't really go wrong with that either. Uh, popular evolutions. Do, do, do. Keeping balance, keeping balance. What else we have here? Uh, Onana for the Everton links. It's not too bad, actually. Onana. High, high work rates for the Everton links. Yeah, welcome to Evolutions. Golden Glow Part 2. The problem is the Centurions to box a box. That would be an absolute waste unless you're going for the sentimental route. Tammy Abraham as a physical type striker. Gets some improvements on the card. Hawk chemistry style would keep him as a lengthy as well. But you would just have to work with the dribbling. But again, the quick step plus is what starts off the lengthy of the card. So definitely really cool stuff there as well. Uh, Zakaria for... The Monaco link, this card is a high, high worker to player who is also a lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style. So you can't really go wrong with that either because the massive acceleration sprint speed boost as well as defense and base card stats for physical being in a good area. If you mainly use him, I would say as like one of two CDM specifically on that right hand side. Um, he's looking pretty nice. Play styles wise, he has quick step. He does at least have anticipate, which is very helpful for sure. Um... This one has like a few different options, honestly. Like there's not really going to be um, a certain amount of players that you're not going to be able to do. Like I said, there's actually a lot of options here in regards to going in the sentimental route for physical type strikers, for some CDMs that could be really nice um, for the most part, right? Like there's a, there's a few options here for sure. Uh, Abraham, Zakaria, Beto, McKenny gets an upgrade as well. He might still have like good work rates too. Oh, he has medium, 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 which isn't as crazy. But again, a lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style. So you can't really go wrong with that either. If you started off with Welcome to Evolutions, Golden Glow Part 2, Centurion's Box to Box Midfield afterwards. That is insanely sentimental. Insanely sentimental for a card that you truly believe will not get something in the future. That's insane. Because when I see a Centurion's box to box, I already know that it's chalked. Like, you know, it's just one of those types of situations. Uh, this guy is another one, right? Like, check, out, check out the sentimental on this one, right? Welcome to Evolutions first. Toughen up afterwards. You put him into... Look at how many things this guy has. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Crazy. Repress proven, detail oriented. He's still formatted strangely, though. That's the thing. Finishing is at a 99, though, eh? So you could technically give him a, uh, an engine, I would say, honestly. You could technically give him an engine. If he's physical-oriented, you just give him a Hawk to really improve the, the shot power part of the card while giving him a physical and pace boost. Levante, Spanish, medium, medium. Those work rates and stuff I don't, like, fully trust because sometimes I don't actually, like, fully show you the stuff there muller mofi with 79 dribbling is a little bit weird i love sorloth jaka rogers for the mills rollings indeed he looks pretty cool actually yeah this guy actually looks nice controlled lengthy shadow chemistry style base cards has for physicals in a great area Play styles wise, he has intercept, press proven, long ball pass, incisive pass, and quick step plus. Interesting. Let's see if this has been updated yet. Like a rock FC founders. Okay, so we'll go to FootWiz here. We'll go to Evolutions. Who's like trending over here? Is it still Kyle Walker? Kolo Moani? Oh, because of the FC founders, right? For him. FC founders 2, FC founders upgrade. People, I think, wanted to review it for this card, too. So I'll see if I can get my hands on him as well. If you guys have him, let me know. Let me know. Um, yeah, all the main cards that are trending are still the same, dudes. Keeping balance. Uh, available evolved players. Why does it, like, duplicate uh, duplicate this? What What is this? I don't know why it does this on FootWiz. Completed evolutions. Fabio Ruiz, Walsh, Henderson, Partey, Lukaku. Yeah, I would say like for the main ones, I think we've pretty much had it covered. Yeah, we pretty much have it covered. There's definitely going to always be like the sentimental cards that definitely have a lot of stuff that you could potentially work with. Like, look, another Jolington card, right? And that is just from a gold. Yeah, just from a gold and he gets quick step plus. So that's pretty cool as well for Jolington. Not too bad there. 
Bofana gets one. Tia, Jaka, Tielemans. Tielemans is still at 53 pace. Tademi gets one as well. Can't really go wrong with that, especially with the uh, quick step plus being added to the card. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the main one, guys. Um, always important to check out a website like EZSBC when it comes to the new ones being added into the game, uh, because you can kind of see if there's any other evolutions that you can currently use for some of these cards as well. So always be very mindful of that when improving the cards. But as of right now, I can't actually search specifically for this evolutions as of right now. It's just not really available. But when they do become available, definitely check out the different variables you can work with. But for me, getting Kyle Walker, definitely a W for the RTG account. Definitely needed that for how I need to be able to generally play, I would say. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.